Another wonderful Saints gaming stream. I'm Matthias Matthias Chalbut, joined by Patrick Smoke Chambers, and we're here to have some fun NFL action in the video game of Madden 24. <laughs> Madden 25. Madden they're 25? On, oh, 20, you're right. Yeah, no. I'm thinking it's All good, all good. So, <laughs> Madden 25, yes, it is going to be St. Clair College versus... University of the Cumberlands. And Let's go. It's home state of Kentucky, we believe. <laughs> or so we've been told. So, we've been told. so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a very interesting uh, matchup. Uh, we are going up against the state champion, actually, of last year's uh, Madden Esports yeah. in Collegiate. So Assumedly in Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be a really, really fun matchup. Uh, one that... You know, if we win, I'm assuming would be considered the upset, obviously, because you have to beat the champion, and that's probably an upset. You know, the champion's probably the favorite coming into it. But it's going to be very, very interesting. I was talking to our player, It's Rondo, um, before we briefly got the stream set up. Really chill guy. Awesome. Love the dude. The guy's vibe is great. But he is a big Steelers fan. Shout out to Zarin, who is a Steelers <laughs> fan, who was casting with me last week, and got, uh, you know, into a little bit of hot water. Well, into a little bit of some uh, hot discussion topics with uh, Zach, our other Madden player, because he's a Ravens fan. So for all you that know, <laughs> AFC rivals. So again, this is, uh, you know, I guess one for you, Zarin, as you'll be seeing your Steelers tonight if you're tuning into the stream at some point or if you're watching the VOD later. But it's going to be a pretty entertaining matchup. It should be a very entertaining matchup. I would hope to see the Lions someday, but I don't think that day is going to be today unfortunately the state champion is a fear the pig and i don't know which team he's partial to in madden but i'm sure it's gonna be one heck of a good game nonetheless and aside from all of that what are your projections for tonight who do you think is going to take this Whew, okay um if i ha i mean mm, if i had to give projections i gotta be honest i gotta go with the state champion uh obviously barring an upset i don't you know, obviously, I'm just going to go with who's most likely to win. Not going to go into state champion on this one. But pleasantly going to be surprised if it's Rondo can pull this one out and get a win. So, again, best of three series, I believe it is. So, we'll be first to two games. Um, Four-minute quarters, I believe, is what I did last week. So, I'd assume it would be the same format. Mm -hmm. But I also know that uh, it's Rondo, very much like the fan he is, is going to be playing as the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm, you know, interesting there <laughs> as uh, that's just who his team is. Uh, as for a little pre-game breakdown, I mean, I would assume if you're playing the Steelers, you're probably going to run the ball a lot because you have that backfield combo of... Uh, Najee Harris and uh, Jalen Warren. So, again, really good backfield. One of the most uh, dynamic backfields, in my opinion, when they want to be in the NFL. Sometimes they're a little inconsistent, but when they get it going, they get it going. Justin Fields at QB, a very good mobile quarterback. So, again, uh, taking after Zach, choosing mobile quarterbacks seems to kind of be the tactic. However, uh, Zach was in a very tough matchup. It came down to literally a last-second penalty yeah, call. So, absolutely insane. You know, Mobile quarterbacks are good. We'll uh, we'll see if Rondo can it's Rondo can put them uh, to good use. George Pickens is going to be looking for some good spec catches, but again, we're going to be getting into games soon, and we'll see all this later after a quick break.
And here we are flying into the field. It's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers, St. Clair, going up against the New York Jets. That's going to be the University of Cumberland. Fear the pig starting things off. The kick. Right. I mean, it's going to be a very interesting one. Uh, Corderell Patterson taking out the kickoff, and it will be down on the 27-yard line just to start out. So, again, like I said, it'll be interesting to see what It's Rondo does here. Now, from speaking to him, he really likes to play a little more risky. He likes to pass Those when gambits. the opponent... <laughs> yeah, when the opponent, opponent expects the run, and he likes to run when the opponent expects maybe a switch up. So he he's he's pretty good at I guess uh, getting into his opponent's heads, as you would describe probably, because again plays a little bit of a weirder play style. But hopefully we'll see it come into effect as the two teams uh, redo their depth charts just to make sure everything is all good. Interesting that we see the New York Jets mm -hmm. because our opponent last week also kept on picking the New York Jets. He got very close to upsetting uh, Zach, but that did not happen because in refs we trust. Okay, starting it out right now. Let's get into it. Fields under center, and he's going to get hit as he throws. Incomplete for the first play. <laughs> yeah, a little bit incomplete right there, but I'm sure it will explode very, very quickly. I wonder why the Jets might be the meta pick. You know, this is a state champion choosing the Jets. Perhaps Aaron Rodgers has some stuff up his sleeve here. Well, it's because they are on paper, on, paper. Uh, on Madden, one of the better teams. They have Sauce Gardner. They have Quinn Williams. They, they have a lot of great uh, uh, players on the defensive side of the ball. Their defense is one of the top in the NFL right now, as that pass is now incomplete. It seems like it came off the hands of Pat Fryermuth. So it's going to be an incompletion yet again with third and long. Want to see what It's Rondo does. Back on my previous statement, though, back on the offensive side as well, you know, you got Brees Hall. He's a great running back, very elusive back. You got Garrett. Wilson he's a great wide receiver one of the best young wide receivers right now and I mean Aaron Rodgers is just a gunslinger that one's going to be out to the flat route Jalen Ward and he's going to get lots of yardage but he's not going to quite get the first down but on fourth and three we're going to be going for it yeah you got to take what you can get at this point after so many incompletes can't quite go for those risky plays and fear the pig is just so good at punishing them maybe this is your chance to fake him out go for a big pass is that complete? Yes, it is. It was, uh, it was a, actually a really, really nice good. play there. So great job uh, by It's Rondo just to find that out route. So again, I like what I'm seeing so far. Fields under center. They're going to go with a run right now to Najee Harris. Let's see what he can do. Going, trying to get through the A gap, but he's going to be met by tacklers immediately. Great stop there by the Jets defense. Absolutely amazing stopped. He's just playing very good on the defense, stopping everywhere he can. But you can definitely tell that Rondo is making some good progress here. He's moving up the line slowly but surely. Just can't get too antsy. You can't keep going for these gambit plays. I know you want to get as much room as you can, but I think Fear the Pig is just ready to punish them. Right, and that's going to be a sack. It's going to be Clark on the making the play on the side of the Jets. A great job there from Fear the Pig. Play action not really working out there for its Rondo. Jets had everything covered up. Third and 17. He's going to need a long play to get that first down. Got to really get into the bag here on this next one. Let's see how they come out. It's going to be Fields from the shotgun. Here we go. Fields. There's something here, really waiting for it. Going to go for the long throw, and he gets wow. it. Beautiful play from Rondo. And again, who better than George Pickens when you need a big time play? He's the man who's going to be stepping up for Justin Fields, and it's Rondo and the Pittsburgh Steelers as a whole. A man who's going to be relied on, upon very heavily. However, it's going to be interesting to see as that ball floats incomplete, nearly fumbled. It is going to be Sauce Gardner on the side of the New York Jets is going to be on coverage for George Pickens. So that's going to be an interesting matchup. Indeed. Good progress here. It's all up. Play the defense. Big pass. Big catch as well. Dropped. Yeah, just barely as well. Hit jars the ball loose, and that's going to set up third and long. Steelers getting very close to field goal range right now. Just a small completion could maybe be able to buy them three points. Quick pass down the middle of the field, but it's going to be shut down. Great coverage as the wide receiver and target falls over. Fourth and ten. 
and you gotta think you know you're on the opponent's 41 you're a little too far from field goal range I get it it's 10 yards that you need you're a little too far down the field though to punt you wonder if maybe a fake punt's gonna come here or if it's Rondo is probably just gonna run another play hopefully see if he can get that first probably just gonna try and get that first you know be a little bit more consistent here there we go. don't want to be too risky but this might be the play. Here it is. Fields passing it down the field over to Williams, but does not quite get it. Right, I mean, unfortunate play right there for Justin Fields. Luckily, or unluckily for him, no one able to come up with any open on the cov openings on the coverage there as the crossroads did not fall into place. It was a great play there by C.J. Mosley. But now, fear the pig on offense. Aaron Rodgers, shotgun. Let's see what happens as it's Rondo. Users, I believe, Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen being commentated by Patrick Chambers there. What happened there? What kind of pass was that? <laughs> he was pretty small. He was coming out of the backfield. I believe on just a nice little curl, but a little it, didn't, it didn't happen. You know, running backs, they get paid to run the ball. I know lots of them now are very good at catching the ball. Brees Hall actually is a very good pass catcher, uh, pass catching back, but just didn't come into fruition there for Aaron Rodgers. Going to loft a deep one there Ooh. over the seam. It's going to be just barely missed out there by Williams. And again, you know, just so tough there. Mike Williams, the guy coming over from the Chargers on the Jets. First season in the NFL on the Jets. He's looked kind of okay. I feel like Rodgers hasn't really utilized him to his fullest potential yet, but we'll see if you're the pig can get that going right now. Down to Corley, oh, and that's actually going to be hauled in. <laughs> eats the hit, and that's a great play for a chunk yardage. That was an amazing play, Ray. They're just sniping it down the field there. And you can definitely tell Fear the Pig is a lot more comfortable here. He's able to get these amazing long shots. Now, will he get the winning play right here? Will he get something on the board? And he does! That's going to be six points for the Jets. Right, I mean, touchdown going down for Garrett Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. A great combo that hasn't really been utilized all too well in real life so far, but Fear the Pig doing a great job so far in this game to get the get honestly get the number one guy the ball he needs to really focus on that especially against Pittsburgh's secondary right now who I believe if it is accurate to in-game or real life rosters are missing Minka Fitzpatrick Ooh. a very good safety uh, one of the best in the league and so it's going to be very troublesome to cover those deep balls uh, so again, when you're up against Aaron Rodgers as well, a gunslinger in his own right, it's going to be a very interesting matchup, and I really want to see how it's Rondo is going to be able to deal with it. I wonder how he'll deal with it as well. I think he's dealing pretty well so far. It's just the defense from Fear the Pig is so strong as well. It's living up to that state champion name. Couldn't go any other way, but maybe it can. If Fields can juke him out here, he's making some good progress. Gets tackled down. That's not a bad push right there. No, I mean, you're not going to complain about a 17-yard rush. Breaks into the secondary, jukes one, goes back into the inside, back to the outside, bounces it through to the sideline. I mean, it's a great job there. Not something that Fear the Pig was expecting. And now Najee Harris up the gut, not going to get anything. He's going to be taken down for, I believe, maybe a gain of one. But he's still going to be in negative yardage after his last play got blown up for a tackle for loss of three yards. So, again, yeah, Najee Harris, two rushes, negative two yards. Not the right side of the numbers line you want to be on. On. Pitch out to Harris as he sweeps it going left. He's going to try to hit the sideline, but he's not going to find very much room. Block's not really allowing him to get upfield. No holes to cut through either, so it's going to have to be third and long yet again. A very common place for its runner to be finding himself in early, as we've seen this a couple of times. It's time and time again. It's very rough to break through here, but maybe this is going to be a moment. <laughs> it's not going to be the moment to get tackled out there. And I'm honestly surprised. That's the third time they've got the Jets defense has been able to get to Justin Fields that quickly. And it's not very common you see that. Justin Fields, a very mobile quarterback in his own right, one that can run the ball quite efficiently, as we saw earlier in the drive. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how exactly It's Rondo counters this out. The Jets, again, doing a great job defensively, sending the full house on the blitz. They're able to find Fields for the knock before he can get that throw off. But again... It just confuses me a little bit. Justin Fields is a very mobile quarterback. I'm very surprised to see that he's been the one under pressure a lot more than Aaron Rodgers on the side of Fear the Pig. Yeah, it's quite interesting that that is the case, but I think 
it just goes to show through the pigs playing these plays absolutely perfectly. He's doing the optimal thing every single time, gets a beautiful pass. And he's just getting consistent progress whenever he has control. Right, I mean, Garrett Wilson on the slant route, able to bring it in, takes a huge hit, but he holds on to the ball, gets Fear the Pig a first down. Really impressed so far with Fear the Pig, just his ability to make the right read almost every time. I'd expect nothing less out of the state champion himself. So we'll see what happens next on this play. He throws it to the out route. It's going to be Tyler Conklin who hauls it in. Tackle will be made, and it's going to be at the third two-yard line. Second and three, soon to come. Soon to come, but... Who will be the one to deliver it? That is the question. Things are looking pretty dicey for Rondo. He needs to keep playing. The defense doesn't want to let another one slip by, at least force the field goal. Doesn't want another touchdown to come through here. Rodgers shooting it and not getting the catch. That might be what Rondo needs to try and stall out this game. Yeah, again, you know, clock stops on incompletions. It is only the first quarter, so right now we'll see what Fear the Pig cooks up. Rogers from shotgun. Coverage dropping back. Rogers dropping back. Has his man. Picks up Brees Hall. He's got the first down and more. Breaking into the secondary. He's going to get tackled at the 44, and it's going to be a fresh set of downs for Fear the Pig. Impressive read from Rogers. Yeah, beautiful run from Fear the Pig there. Got a lot of field progress. Now, Rondo just... As much as I don't want to say, it's struggling to keep up here. Right, I mean, again, the caliber of opponent is just absolutely top tier. So, I mean, this is going to be your hardest matchup he's probably going to have all year. So, for only being the second game in collegiate uh, this season, it's not an easy way to open up the season for its Rondo. But again, only down by seven. It's one quarter. Mental reset. You know, you seen a little bit of a stop, maybe even just to give up a field goal to be down 10 in the first half and to be able to come back and maybe get a score. Look, if you want to keep it between uh, within two possessions, you never know, you could build some momentum. Maybe it's just some first half jitters. We'll see though, as we get into the next quarter. Fresh set of downs, first and 10. Rogers takes it from the gun. Gonna be Brees Hall on the out route, or the crosser more, I should say. But he's gonna be tackled for a gain of one. So a great job right there from Pittsburgh, making sure that they had a linebacker covering him all the way. And again, it's been just a great job uh, from Rogers to at least take what he has. He takes what the defense gives him so far. Even if it just means a gain of a yard, he hasn't really been in any negative plays whatsoever no. just yet. No tackles for losses. He has another man oh. over the middle. Garrett Wilson jukes inside, takes a huge hit from TJ Watt, but holds on nevertheless for a fresh set of downs. Great shutdown from Morano. <laughs> that almost could have been a disastrous play, but he was ready for it, had the perfect timing, and got that shutdown. There's still so much pressure from Pig coming out here. Passes to Williams, gonna make a big run up the field, dodging back and forth, and that is a lot of progress. Jukes to the outside is Mike Williams, Rogers able to hit him over the middle. And again, we're seeing this from Fear the Pig. He's so patient with his reads. He almost has all day in the pocket, so I'm not surprised. Audible being called out here. Rondo in cover three. Let's see what he can do. And I am wrong, actually. I do see uh, Minka Fitzpatrick on the top left there. It's your safety. He's going to be dropping back into coverage, but no one around. He's actually going to target that side of the field. Tyler Conklin, but a drop ball oh, a drop right ball. off the hands of Conklin. And that should have been a grab for six. Yeah, that would have been absolutely nasty if he made that one throw. But now I have a feeling Rondo is going to be a little bit more ready for these plays. With how close he is, this is getting even more risky. There's too many angles to watch, and that's going to oh, be Hall six. making it through for a touchdown. Right, I mean, I just love this from Aaron Rodgers, right? And I love this from Fear the Pig, honestly, who's controlling him. He has all these deep crosser routes, and what that does is it pulls the linebackers a little more up the field, and Brees Hall is just going to slip by the defensive line and just be right there. He's just All he's doing is he's just flying a little bit of a straight, and Rodgers can just hit him in stride immediately. And if Brees Hall can bring in that ball, he, was, he failed to do so a little bit earlier. I believe it was actually the first play of the game. But if he succeeds on getting him these plays on the check down, it's just so smart from Rodgers and from Fear the Pig. He has all these deep routes, lures the linebackers back, frees up the running back for free yardage. And I mean, tackling someone like Brees Hall in the open field, it's one of the hardest things to do in real life and I'd assume in Madden. <laughs> so again, we'll see what happens. This kickoff, uh, kick return, doing pretty decent at around the 30-yard line. I thought maybe one more to the outside might have had six, but again, 
I'm not a Madden professional player, so I can't really talk like that. <laughs> no, Rondo doing a good job, you know, against such a tough opponent like Fear the Pig. It's clear to see that he is coming out here as a lethal force. But Rondo doing good, playing his plays, keeping a stalwart defense. Now it's his turn on the offense to see who can make of it. It's a nice catch. It's some good progress, but still. You're honestly hoping for a lot more at this point when you're 14 points down. And I believe that was Van Jefferson as well on the side of Pittsburgh. A good grab there from Rondo. Fresh set of downs. He's going to opt to run out of the pocket with Fields. Goes to the outside. He's going to pick up, I believe, a gain of six. It's going to be second and four now. And a decent run from Fields. I want to see that more out of its Rondo, actually. Again, he's been pressured quite quickly. So let's move it to the outside. I know Justin Fields, not the best deep ball accuracy and probably not the best throw on the run accuracy either. But on the run, Fields is very good. He's a great playmaker and is very elusive in open field. So, again, I want to see, I guess, Rondo, I guess, loosen up a little more on the side of the quarterback. Now, this isn't something I'd usually recommend. Again, he'd have to be throwing back shoulder. Not a very good job. Or cross body, sorry, is the right term. And I believe Justin feels a little bit gingerly as he's getting up. You wonder if maybe an injury happens? No, not quite. He is no. going to be just fine. I do know injuries are in Madden, so I wonder if they're turned on on the sliders. You're looking at Russell Wilson coming back in on the side of Pittsburgh, if that was the case. Hits his man Jalen Warren for the first down, though, is it's Rondo. And he's getting into a little bit of a groove now. Getting into a groove, and you have to at this point. You need to try break it up. Something here, you need some break if you're Rondo. We're still in the first half of this game. It's able to be turned around, but it's not looking like he's figured out what exactly he needs to get rid of the pig. That's a big run by Harris, though. Can he juke it out a little bit more? No, he cannot, but that's still some good yards on the board. Right, and breaking into field goal range right now is it's Rondo, and that's just it, right? We just take them, the de uh, the the defense as it comes. So again, we're going to be able to find Najee Harris on the outside. It's a great run by it's Rondo, and we're going to see what he has cooking up again. It's going to be this crosses play with two deep posts on the left side. It is going to be, I believe, picked off though Ooh. by Fear the Pig, and now on the return, he's going to get back to around his own 36-yard line. A great job and a great read. A little bit of an air and throw there by it's Rondo. You'll get the sometimes but that's just also the benefit of having that New York Jets stout defense yeah beautiful defense beautiful interception and now things are going to be <laughs> a little jank but hey that's Madden that's Madden you know just clipping through the other guy that's what you gotta do I mean, sometimes you just gotta wins. sometimes you just have to impale <laughs> the other guy with your right arm through his stomach to, to get, to the, get the ball I mean, yeah that's just, that, it happens sometimes it's not I mean, cheating that's in the rules you happened to me that. in high school I now Rogers dropping back into coverage has his man deep it's gonna be Garrett Wilson yet again burns the coverage can he juke it inside no not quite but it doesn't matter the damage has already been done there up to the 13 great play from Garrett Wilson damage is an understand I'd say that the hole has been blowed wide open in this ship it's flooding here and now it's not looking great Rondo has a very tough job to try and stop this here with not a lot of room to breathe Let's see what he's got. Not much to cook with. This is looking to be another touchdown for Pig. Now Rodgers dropping back. Has the man over the middle. It's Conklin yet again. Almost as perfect as the throws you could imagine. Just throws it over the shoulder. It's an amazing catch from Conklin. Absolutely perfect accuracy from Rodgers. And you come to expect nothing less out of your state champion. Fear the Pig goes up 21 to zip. 21 to nothing is the score currently. Rondo, I, th I don't think Rondo is going to get zero this game. I think he's going to get some points on the board. It's going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be hard fought. But at this point, you're playing for points on the board. Playing for some pride here. Orsted going for the kickoff here. Patterson going to be the one. Oh, no, it's going to be Austin going to be the one to catch it. Move in on through. Get your yards. Get your progress. And now the real game begins. With a minute 47 left, you know, you just got to try to get a field goal. Even just getting three points on the board would be a nice way to enter half. So, again, if you're Rondo, I say you play safe. Try not to force any turnovers. Don't force your throws. Just take what the defense gives you. I know it's easier being said than done, especially up against state champion. Fields bouncing out to his left, throwing, but it's going to be into double coverage, broken up. And luckily it wasn't picked on the play. Great coverage from Fear the Pig. Great coverage. You're like, how much more can we praise Fear the Pig? I mean, he's the state champion. He's playing like one so far. 
I'm going to be cheering for Rondo here. Rondo's the one on the offense. I believe Rondo might have a beautiful play right here. That's pretty good, but he cannot get enough distance there. If you cast a curse and he fumbled, I would have actually laughed some more. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I just got to go ahead and say it. I'm trying to cast your bless to this guy right now. He needs any chance he can get. He's hey. playing beautifully, but against a state champion, you need any boon you can get. Right, I mean, that's just the attitude you got to come uh, with, right? So, I mean, Firemuth over the middle, he's just going to drop that one, hit Jars the ball loose. And again, fourth and five right now for It's Rondo. Gotta assume he's probably just gonna be able to punt this one away. Minute 17 left, you just wanna try to hold Fear the Pig without putting another six or three up on the scoreboard. There it is. There's a kickoff back in Fear the Pig's hands. We'll make a nice blitz up field, get some good progress in there. Now it's back on the defense for Rondo. You wanna try and make something. You wanna try and either keep that defense solid and force the field goal. A you just pick, don't want another touchdown. It would touchdown. be absolutely <laughs> beautiful right now. It'd be just what Rondo needs to get back in this. And I think soon you're going to start realizing, Matthias, as you watch uh, as this game goes on and on, mental fatigue is going to start having a factor on this Ooh. game. That's a great play, though. It's going to be TJ Watt with a sack and a loss of 12. Decent play right there. Pretty good. You need to keep playing like that if you want to keep, keep on delaying Mr. Pig over here. Now, looking at this. A lot of plays coming out. A lot of plays being considered. It's going to be Rodgers eyeing up the ball, sending it downfield over to Gibson. Did he get that? Is that complete? I think it was. Yeah, third and inches Beautiful. is going to be the play. It's a great throw from Rodgers. What I will say that Fear the Pig is doing, like I said, He's just, he has all the time in the pocket other than last, other than two plays ago. So take advantage of that, right? He can just sit back, drop back. He knows Rodgers has great deep ball accuracy. He can just take his reads as they come. First man, second man, going through his progressions. And he's going to be able to snipe out Mike Williams over the middle. Huge gain, almost breaks the tackle. He's going to be dragged down at the 21 yard line. One yard away from being in the red zone, but he's well into field goal range. And with 31 seconds left, you would expect maybe a couple runs of the ball just to try to ice the clock and get a kick before halftime. I mean, why not? You're at such an advantageous spot already. Might as well use it. Line up the ball, going for another touchdown here. Passing to Gibson. Doesn't quite land it all the way there, but that's still an absolutely beautiful play. I mean, I thought he was going to play it safe on the side of Fear the Pig, but I guess what? I mean, you're up 21 nothing right now. I mean, you know what? Hey, lay it on him. <laughs> if, you're gonna, if, you're, if, you, if you think you can score another touchdown, absolutely, you go for it. Rodgers calling an audible right now, going to move Brees Hall to the right side, moving Mike Williams in towards the middle. Has Garrett Wilson for the touchdown. Oh, wow. And right now, Rondo cannot stop this Rodgers to Wilson combo. He cannot. Can anybody blame him? It's just such a tough team to break at this point. It's so hard to break through. And with Mr. Fear the Pig at the charge, state champion, I couldn't imagine going any other way so far. Extra point. We'll see if he boots it through. That is going to be 28 to nothing as we head into halftime. So a great job there by Fear the Pig. A lot to be desired upon from its Rondo. But again, you are going up against probably the highest caliber opponent you will face all season. So we'll see. Honestly, if I'm its Rondo, you know, I get it. It looks bad right now. Going into halftime, though, just take a little bit of a mental reset, man. Imagine it's the first ha uh, half again. Imagine playing a new game. I'm not necessarily saying that you're going to come back and win this. Anything is possible in Madden. Do I find it likely that he's going to win this game? Absolutely not. But what I will <laughs> say is... To play with a good mental for that start of the second game is going to be key because if you start off on the wrong foot uh, on the second half and you start off on the wrong foot in the second game, you could be looking at a quick 2-0 exit. Yeah, that's not something you want. You want to try, try and at least make it long and hard, but that's another interception. Carter has the entire field free, and he's running it down. Will this be another touchdown? And yes, will it will. will? Oh, my God. Fear the pig just pulling out these insane plays and making them work somehow. The user lurk from Carter. He's able to pick off fields yet again, and he's going to be a house call. Again now, the Jets up 35 to nothing. Fear the pig really laying it on its Rondo right now. And if you're its Rondo, you got to assume, based on what I'm seeing right now, I can assume he's pretty 
pretty uh, bad mental uh, mentally right now. Yeah. You assume you, there's a little bit of mental shock. I didn't really know how to word it, but you gotta assume there's a little bit of mental shock right now. Definitely. And like I said, I think it's Ronda just wants nothing more than for that clock to strike zero and to get into halftime for just a brief 15 second break. You definitely want to get that breather but you still have to keep on playing this game. It's football. you got to run out the clock here. He's going for a big run down the field. Maybe he's found something within himself. That's going to be some good progress, but unfortunately, we're going to be calling halftime here. But maybe you bring that energy oh, into the next half. Man, I mean, that is so bittersweet. If it was any other point in this game, a return like that would have been absolutely magnificent to get yourself back into it mentally. But now, even more shockingly so, he's not only just going to have to not have that field position, he's going to have to kick it away as well to fear the pig because it's Rondo started on the offense in the first half. Sides flipped. Let's see the return from fear the pig. He's going to be dropped at the 25-yard line. And now back on the offensive side and back on the defensive side, more or less, is it's Rondo, a place where I feel like he's kind of been for most of the game. Yes, that is a very true statement right there. Fear the Pig is living up to his name. We're putting, instilling the fear with how relentless his offense has been this entire game. It's hard to shake him at this point. It's going to be Hall trying to move up field, but really good defense from Rondo. Right, and I mean, it's just going to be the linebacker, the backer who gets through. And I mean, honestly, great, uh, great plays there from the defensive side. It's Rondo being able to shut down that play for a gain of nothing, loss of nothing, just a neutral zero yard play. Aaron Rodgers now dropping back. He has his man down the sideline. It's gonna be Conklin on the right side, gets out of a tackle, wow. but it's not going to do just too much. I believe only gaining about two yards after catch or after contact. So now first and 10 though on the 42 yard line, a great play. And again, Rodgers, I like what I'm seeing out of him. He's just dropping back. You'll notice he just drops back further and further and further until that deep ball emerges. And it doesn't even have to be necessarily a deep ball. I mean, it could be a 15-yard pass, but by the time Rodgers is airing it out, it's going to be more like a 30-yard throw. But with that deep ball accuracy, he can really just fit it into those gaps that not a lot of quarterbacks wow. can. Has his man, Tyler Conklin, on the right side again. And Rodgers to almost anybody right now is working. Yeah, anything's working here. He's just making these plays out of thin air, it looks like. But it's all the piloting of Fear the Pig at the forefront here. The state champion pulling out these championship plays. And now it's a haul up to Rondo to try and stay in this. You know, even just have the mental fortitude going to the next game here. But that's going to be another touchdown for the Jets. Just barely. He always makes that touch ever so slight. I mean, look at this. Just barely gets right. into the defense was just a step too slow. I mean, it doesn't matter if the ball breaks the plane. That's all that counts yep. for those six to go down. Point after touchdown. PAT is good. So 42 nothing, and this is becoming a route of the game right now. Fear the pig definitely instilling some fear in its Rondo. I think right now for Rondo, he just needs to simply forget that the score is 42 to nothing. I'm sure he's trying to do that right now, but it's a little bit hard when you keep getting score not? touchdown after touchdown, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, I was going to say, a lot easier said by me than if I'm actually the one competing right now. So, you know, hopefully... He still has some sanity left, but we'll see what he cooks up on this next offensive drive. Cordero Patterson taking out the kick. He's going to be tackled at around the 28-yard line, and that will be where it's Rondo starts his drive. Yeah, definitely. For Rondo here, this game is kind of chalked up, let's be honest. Oh, completely. So this is now experimenting, seeing what works. How can you yeah. figure out what makes Fear the Pig tick and trying to plan accordingly for the next game? Right, I mean... I think if I was its Rondo, uh, I'd probably be utilizing that run game he has a little bit more. I know it's not necessarily all that uh, been incredible recently, but Najee Harris is a great running back. And I mean, to be able to switch it up with Jalen Warren as well, shades of what Zach was doing last week when he picked Philadelphia, he was able to switch up between Saquon Barkley and Kenneth Gainwell. And having that dual backfield was just enough of a change to get to make the difference overall in the run game. So again, you wonder with that dual back formation, if it's Rondo can get anything coached Cooking. Currently, right now, that won't be the case as he's going to get cooking just the same way with Pat Fryermuth over a crossing route. A gain for a first town. A little bit of a gain, but nonetheless, it's looking to be 
Tough one to catch. <laughs> that did not go through there. Went for a very bold play, but just not able to seal the deal. He's got right time. Now, He's got time. You know, I will say, I think Rondo really loves this play right here. You're going to have the two receivers on the left running the crossers. He's going to actually change it up right now. He's going to have Fryermuth on an out route. He's going to go exactly right to him on the sideline, gets through the tackles, dives for the first down marker, and he's going to be tackled at around ball marked at the 35-yard line of the opposition. This is looking to be the play that Rondo might take it. Never mind. <laughs> It's a great job on the blitz there from Fear the Pig. He gives Justin Fields absolutely no time and no space to breathe. And again, Rondo paying somehow while having a mobile quarterback. Rolling out to the side is Fields. He's going to go for the QB run. He's going to have the first down. And there you go. He's building a little bit of momentum now. He has some runs. I feel like I like when I see him run with Fields. It's a great play. Uh, again, you wish that maybe he could find something deep, but it's just probably not going to happen with the with the secondary that the Jets have, plus the fact that Fields doesn't have that great of a deep ball throw, it's just a little bit risky. So we'll see how Rondo can do, if he can try to fit one in. If I was him, I'd probably cut up field, maybe try to see if that player opens up in the middle, and it's going to be exactly just that. A great job there from Pat Fryermuth to adjust, work back to his quarterback, and he's going to have a huge gain. And now, first and goal at the nine-yard line is going to be what it's Rondo has in front of him. It's all going to be up to Rondo here, and another tackle breaks the ball, and now back to where we began. Rondo has a chance to get some points on the board here. This is the closest he's gotten so far. You love to see the progression here. He's definitely adapting to Pig's play style. Let's see if he can break through. Well. <laughs> well, we will certainly <laughs> see about that. So far, that hasn't been the case, but anything can change. A really weird throw. I didn't think it was actually going wow. to be able to happen. And it's going to be penalty? a touchdown. Penalty on the defense is going to be uh, declined. So there you go, Rondo. Being able to find the man in the middle, I believe it was Fryermuth. So Fryermuth has definitely been his biggest playmaker, assumingly so, because George Pickens has probably been getting shut down by Sauce Gardner on that defensive side. Sauce Gardner, one of the best DBs in the game. So definitely not surprised to see why George Pickens has been locked up so far, having to go to Pat Fryermuth so far as it's Rondo. And I think not having that ability to find George Pickens for any of those big-time gains has been really the limiter to what Rondo has been able to do on the offense. Exactly. A big run from the Jets once again. They're always so consistent at getting a good opening kickoff there, starting their offense off strong. And I got to praise Rondo, you know. I think there were some doubters, you know. Maybe in the audience here that thought there weren't going to be any points out? on the board. <laughs> but I believe, let it be known that I said earlier, Rondo's going to get some points on the board, and he did. So let's see if he can prevent this from hitting the 50 mark. That's your next goal. <laughs> I mean, he's done a good job on that in the first play. Just hit drawing the ball loose on a throw to Brees Hall. But Fear the Pig's got a lot more in his arsenal. We'll see what he unleashes on the rest of this drive. Rodgers from Shotgun. Shock gonna be here. a run down to Brees Hall going through the A gap is Brees and he's gonna be able to just get about three yards third and seven so we'll see Rogers from shotgun calling audible Let's see it Getting set up already going for it what is he planning here this is a long play here down the field, gets the catch as Williams. Going to get it down over to that 48-yard line. And because of how long that play lasted, the middle just completely opened up. He just had to wait for Mike Williams to come back, beat the man onto the inside, and he has a free gainer for a first down. So again, while we see all the deep options, Rodgers and Fear the Pig able to stay composed. They take the safe option. They take what the defense gives them, and it's been the reason why I think he's done so good so far in this game as Brees Hall somehow holds on to that ball as it's going to be second and five. Somehow. somehow. But I believe in miracles here <laughs> maybe <laughs> we're gonna see rondo prevent this play here you want to try and keep a defense strong keep finding out what works and i think rondo is figuring out what works against for the pig this game is looking 
not great for Rondo, but he's doing a good job at analyzing, planning accordingly. But that's a beautiful play from Pig, getting so much progress they from downfield. State champion showing the reason why. Oh, Lava Thighs, the caster curse could not have come at a better time there. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely ridiculous. A great throw there by Rogers. A great adjustment by Garrett Wilson. Brees Hall up the middle. He's going to be able to find six for second and four. And as the third quarter comes down to an end, this has definitely not been the game, at least I certainly expected. I thought maybe it would have been a little bit of a closer one, but Fear the Pig so far has just done nothing short of impressing me so far today. Putting up 28 points in that second quarter, including a pick six. I mean, that's really where he ran away with this ball game. But if you actually look at the third and first quarter, he only put up seven. So, yeah, not... again, you know, uh, as on paper, this does look like a horrible game. I will say, I think we're giving a little bit too much discredit. Mike Williams bouncing it to the outside, has the inside juke. He's going to be down at the one-yard line. And even though Fear the Pig is probably going to add seven to his agenda on this next couple of plays, I will say that, you know what, other than one quarter, this game would have actually been somewhat close. It would have been, but, you know, just all it takes is that one quarter to make it a blowout. Oh, I'm just completely coping right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we all are. We all are. And you're completely right. I think this second game will be a lot more interesting because now Rondo knows what to expect and knows to try and cover for these risky plays can really adapt accordingly right now he's trying to adapt but it's so hard in the chaos mid-match to truly adapt here especially when points are getting scored over and over on the board Right, it's a great play. Alan Lazard going to be able to pick up the block, and then it just leaves Garrett Wilson to set up behind him, has the easy catch for touchdown. He's going to go for the two-point convert as well with the exact same play. This one gets blown up, though. It's Rondo doing justice, not letting Garrett Wilson find the octopus on that eight-point play. But, however, the score still so far from close. 48-7 to is your total so far. Rondo on the offensive side. Let's see if he can find another six to bring into the second game. For the run here, got decent progress, but at this point, you are just trying to figure out what is going to be the needle that pierces the armor of the absolute juggernaut that is Fear the Pig. <laughs> right. I mean, there's no other, but honestly, you couldn't have put it any, any way better. Let's see how Justin Fields airs this one out, finds Van Jefferson on again, down the sideline, oh, beats his man. Beautiful. Well. He should be gone, but no, not quite. A great job hustling from the DB to be able to make the tackle down at the 26-yard line, but a massive gain nonetheless, and that's exactly the type of play that it's Rondo needed to get back into his own good headspace. Exactly. You just need something to give yourself a little buoy in the ocean to rest upon. And now that he has that, he can take a breather, recoup himself, and get ready to surf the next wave. You just wonder right now, I, I've really been watching Sauce Gardner versus George Pickens all game long, and Pickens is just not able to create separation at all from the DB. Sauce always keeping a hand, almost it feels like, on his hip for those who actually know, who those who know ball, the DB, that inside hand always works oh. out well. Fire move, breaking a tackle, juking to the outside, bounces it yet again to the outside. Sorry, juke to the inside. This is going to have a good pickup. New, fresh set of downs on the eight-yard line. It's Rondo. Let's see if he can put up another six. Fields from shotgun. That's what we're looking for, another six. Fields going for a pass. Be incomplete right there. Just not able to get it over the O-line. He did have the man crossing. It seemed like Fear the Peg was chasing him on Carter. He realized where he messed up that play. But... Unluckily for Rondo, the O-lineman's helmet getting in the way. Not enough air on that ball. So he'll have to settle for second and goal. Under center, Justin Fields has the men on the side. But it is going to be a quick blitz coming through from the defense. I believe it's Quinnen Williams with the sack. Third and goal from the 14-yard line right now. And things are looking bleak. Fields under center has his man. But it's going to be thrown into double coverage. And was it caught? Was it picked? No, not quite. Oh. It's going to be broken up by C.J. Mosley. An absolutely incredible play. One that I thought was honestly going to get picked off, and that would have been a crusher. And now it's Rondo. You're down 48-7. You might as well go for it on fourth and goal. Let's see what he can muster up. Has a man over the middle. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going beautiful. to be a touchdown. Great pass from Rondo as he puts up another six, waiting for the seventh on the board. This game's not looking as bad now. You know, it's still looking decisive. But now 14-48. <laughs> 
That's like I, you had one good quarter there. <laughs> you got some points on the board there. And there you go, right? I mean, you take away the need. positives. You know, he found something that worked against him. But let's talk about next game real quick before it, 2.51 on the clock. This one almost over. Fear the pig. If I was him, I wouldn't change up a single thing. I think I'd stick with the Jets so far. The defense has worked out good. I love the user on Carter as well. It's worked out perfectly. He's found everything he's wanted out of him including an incredible user lurk for a pick earlier. Pick six, should I add. So on the side of the offense as well, great patience, great composure with Rodgers. He just takes what the defense gives him. The defense just gave him the whole field to Gibson. Oh, no. Rodgers, it's going for six. It's a touchdown. And Fear the Pig breaks into the 50s. Breaks right into the 50s, looking to make it 55 clean. And with two minutes left on the clock, uh, this is looking more and more consistently like a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really think there's any defense we can chalk up no. here. Uh, not that I would anyway. I'm just going to call it like I see it right yeah. now. It's definitely not been the best game from It's Rondo, and it's definitely been a very good game from Fear the Pig. So I am very impressed so far with what I've seen out of him on the Jets. Austin taking it up the middle. Breaks a few tackles, but he's going to be just stopped short of the 30. Let's see what Rondo can cook up on potentially one of his final couple of drives. Final drive. Let's see if it will be. Rondo looking to keep on learning from this experience here. Just for the catch. The interception comes through <laughs> from Fear the Pig once again and makes some good progress. And that is not what you want to see when you're closing out this game. Williams doing a little bit of a dance wow. on the ground as well after the pick. I mean, as he should. That was an incredible read <laughs> on the receiver. And, I mean, I expect nothing short of that. A little bit of an air and throw from its Rondo. But, hey, you know what? Can't lie, a little bit of a celebratory dance. It doesn't feel very good, even though no. I know that was a complete bug. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Fear the Pig back on the offense. He's going to have Hall through the seam. He's going to have him at the 12-yard line. And I love what I've seen out of the passing game from Rodgers. And I will say, what makes it even more impressive, so I've barely seen any running to Brees Hall. He's mainly just used him out of the backfield as a pass catcher. And it's been working fluently. Like It, it almost feels like you should expect for Fear the Pig to throw the ball every single single play and he has and it's worked so I love what he's doing with Aaron Rodgers with this Jets offense wish I maybe saw a little bit more running but I mean how can I criticize him why if it's not broke don't fix it and so I mean honestly fear the pig doing a great job of that he's finding all the value he wants out of all of his guys let's see what he cooks up this time Rodgers dropping back Ooh. has Garrett Wilson over the middle Went the for dive crazy and he's dive. actually going to get the touchdown? <laughs> no way. That was a touchdown? I guess that the has ball to be broke a bug. the plane. That I, honestly, I thought he was short at the one or the two. It looked like it. But the dive let the ball break the plane. It's going to be a touchdown. Point after PAT is good. 62 wow. points. What a performance. That looked a little, that looked like some, some video game madness right there. That did not look, <laughs> <laughs> look exactly new, proper. But yo, new patch coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> new patch coming soon. But apparently that dive broke the plane. It was all Garrett Wilson needed. And I believe that's his, Garrett Wilson's third or fourth touchdown of the yeah, game. That's, that's crazy. Absolutely incredible. Definitely going to want to put a man on that guy next, next time he's getting close. And now we're going to see Fields go for a run, go for a long play, and bring it up just a little bit here to the 39-yard line. Overall, Rondo still, still pushing on. Right, I mean, that's all he can do. That sack's not going to help him either. It's going to be second and 15 now. Fear the pig, sending pressure, play action, always going to get countered up by the blitz right now. Fields under center. You wonder if Rondo's just going to start running the ball to try to maybe take some of that clock out, but he's not going to. Trying to flood out to his left, but he's going to oh, fumble the ball. No it's way. going to be a strip on the sack. Ball comes out, and it is going to be Fear the pig who recovers it back on defense with a short field. He's going to probably go for eight here. I mean, I'm honestly curious to see if he can even hit 70 this game. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's what we're speculating on now. How Look, high listen. can Fear the Pig fly? <laughs> no offense to Rondo. Uh, this game has been solved. I mean, 
He's a flying pig. I mean, what, what do you mean? So uh, I, I can say right now, Rogers under center, dropping back, has his man to the right side. It's going wow. to be a catch from Conklin. Beats the safety, and it's going to be yet again another touchdown for the culture. I'm assuming Fear the Pig's oh, going to go no for two. Way. He can put up 70 potentially, maybe a fake PAT, or he'll just get 69 oh points, which God. I didn't think about either. So there uh, you go with a final score of 69 to, to 14, barring an absolutely incredible sequence of events for It's Rondo. That will be your final score. <laughs> Hey, Fear the pig, it might I not be say, 14. It might not be 14. Fear the Pig, I got to say, quite an impressive performance. And I believe that's, what, the seventh passing touchdown for Aaron yeah, Rodgers? I mean, ridiculous. that is absolutely ridiculous. So there you go. That's most likely going to be your ball game. But we'll see. It's Rondo. Well, not most likely. It is your ball game. But we'll see if it's Rondo will either opt to run and drink clock, take an E, bring it to the second game. Or if he'll do this, which I'd like to see, and with 34 seconds left, try to see if he can just get one more drive down maybe, the field. Maybe go for a dagger right here, you know, try and just really dagger in there. No idea what dagger is. That's the first time I've seen that play. I was like, I keep seeing it. I just, I keep I just seeing it. looked at him in the back. I was like, what? <laughs> what's going on? Deep no. ball down to Harris. Oh. Najee Harris not known for his pass catching ability, let alone a 50-yarder. But it isn't going to happen. 69-14, to 14, your final score. And I will say, I have seen – Absolutely everything. Nine touchdowns from Aaron wow. Rodgers. I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. A great game from Fear the Pig. And uh, honestly, you got to wonder, what is there any point in changing up the style? Is there any point in changing up the team? I really like what I'm yeah. seeing from him. Uh, I think that he's doing a great job of just dropping back, finding whoever's open, and he's not making any errant throws, no errant adjustments. He's just able to find the open man, take what the defense gives him, wait for the gaps to open up. And, I mean, he just played the best game of Madden I think you could have possibly played in that area. That's why he's the state champion, you know. He's making perfect plays every single time you know making some risks here and there but when they pay off he makes to get full utilization of them and it's just so hard to catch up once that that giant gap has been widened and now with 14 to 69 being the score it's up to rondo to try and really bunker down and try and solve this one i wonder if we're going to see a switch up in terms of teams to try and deal with all the crazy plays pig is going for well i mean if i was it's rondo I know he's a Steelers fan, but I think he needs to give this one up a little bit. I think you have to choose a different team, someone who's going to challenge the Jets a little bit more. It's it's tough when you're going up against a state champion, let alone when you're also picking a team that isn't necessarily the best rated in Madden. So, you know, you're doubling up on the difficulty. You're doubling down on uh, the difficulty. I honestly wonder if Fear the Pig maybe saw it as a little bit of a troll. I don't think it was a troll. I think it was just like, he probably plays it in his own time, kind of personal comfort pick. And if he's not I mean, going for that win, he I, might I, just be trying. Listen, but I get that. You never know. But based on, uh, I'm going to call it like I see it, based on the matchups that I've seen so far in the Madden uh, League, the Steelers, not a very common pick at all. Really off-brand probably for, uh, for the pick to see. He was most likely expecting like a Ravens pick, maybe a Eagles pick coming out. Just something that's a little more like in the meta. So seeing the Steelers, I mean, uh, I'm not saying they're one of the worst teams in the NFL, but when it comes to Madden, they're definitely not one of the teams that you would expect to see on the field. So it's Rondo uh, not having a very good game, but we'll see if he can pick it up in the second. And we will be on that after a quick break.
And we're back here in game two. Same teams, same players, same sides. But it's going to be Fear the Pig potentially making Rondo fear that pig skin after that first game. I mean, yeah, there's, uh, honestly, there is no other way to put it. It was a great showing from Fear the Pig early and often scoring from almost all parts of the field, it felt like even on the defensive end. So, again, we'll see this game, hopefully a little bit of a different result for its Rondo, you have to hope. And we are going to get started on the 23-yard line with the first play of the game. It's Rondo starting off on offense like the game prior. Let's hope it doesn't go the same way. Nothing can be done without hope. You need hope to keep that dream alive. You need hope to drive that ball down that field. And let's see Rondo try and go for a big go. play right here. There he is, he's passing over to Warren. Warren's going to run it up the field and get some decent progress right there. That's much better from Rondo already on the start. Wait a minute, I wish I saw more of that the first game. I, I want to see him switch it up with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, who are able to just switch up the running styles so slightly but can provide such a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Fields rolling left, he's not going to find anything though, and he's actually gonna be hit for a loss of seven, a sack on the play, a great job, and we see that Fear the Pig has done absolutely nothing different on defense, just picking up right where he left off with dominance so far. He's picking up with dominance, and wow, pushing over Fields once again. He's not leaving that quarterback alone, not letting him start anything here. Right, and I mean, I feel like it's just, it's weird what we're seeing. Justin Fields, just a mobile quarterback. You would assume he's able to escape pressures very quickly, but that just hasn't been helping him. And honestly, I wonder if his offensive line hasn't been helping him too much either on the side of it's Rondo. Deep ball for uh, George Pickens, but again, suffering from that Justin Fields deep ball accuracy. Probably not going to be a very accurate throw, not able to fit it in bounds, and it will have to be a punt on the first drive for it's Rondo. It's got to be a punt. It's going to be Gibson grabbing that ball, going for a run, starting the offense on Fear the Pig. That's some good defense from Rondo, though. He's waking up to it. Right, but unfortunately not a very long punt received at, I believe, the 29-yard line. So right. it will allow Fear the Pig to get up to the 41, and starting his drive here is absolutely perfect to begin the game. Rodgers from shotgun. Brees Hall trying to see if he can maybe free the man up. He's not going to be looking at him, taking wow. what the defense gives him. But that's a very Aaron throw, and there's the man. Minka Fitzpatrick with the pick. Talked about him earlier. There he goes, making his name shown to the crowd. He's going to have an interception. It's Rondo. He's got to be feeling pretty pumped up after that one. You got to be, you know. You got to get more of those interceptions in here if you're Rondo. Keep the pressure up. I mean, Warren going for an absolutely amazing run up the field. Can he get the touchdown? And Rondo is going to be the one starting off the pace with six points on the board. Right, I mean, hey, you know what? A great start for its Rondo. It's a start you want to see. I mean, it seems like he's really gone and had that mental reset just so far. He started this game unbelievably well on the defensive side and allowed for a quick and easy score. Good job following his blocker, cutting in and out, being able to find the gaps. He's going to be able to put seven up on the board first. As Fear the Pig now goes back on to offense, we'll see what he can muster up on the kickoff. Let's see what this pig can muster up. Maybe he can muster it up too, and he got a nice sandwich right there, but he's got a nice run to start things off. Just getting up there on the field. Down at the 27 yard line, <laughs> as now it's Rondo. We'll see if he can have some of the same success that he had on defense the previous drive. Rogers from shotgun. Dropping back is Aaron Rodgers, reading through his progressions. He's going to have Brees Hall over the middle. Hit sticks, but Brees will be able to hold on. No huddle now from Rodgers and the Jets. Now going into an audible, changing up the play. Rodgers from shotgun. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can cook up here. He's the chef, but who's going to bring the ingredients? It's going to be Williams booking those groceries all the way to the kitchen and making some good 
Blaze right there. Got some good. <laughs> I thought you were going to finish it with a food analogy. <laughs> I just was, blanked out there at the end. I'm saying, you know what? Fair play, man. For as far as you made it go, guess what's cooking right now? It's a sack from the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's Rondo doing a great job getting through the line, making a play on Rodgers, setting up second and long. We'll see now what Fear the Pit can do. Rodgers from shotgun getting blitzed immediately. Quick throw. Dumps off to Brees Hall. But, man, I love seeing that. Rodgers is such an immobile quarterback. Quarterback. He's very slow. I want to see Rondo, uh, or Rodgers, sorry. I want to see Rondo setting up the blitz more uh, to get Aaron Rodgers, make him really move. I know Aaron Rodgers probably is a decent throw on the run, but he can't run that fast. So, again, you would have thought with the plays that Justin Fields was getting pressured and sacked on, I thought it was going to be the opposite side of the story. Ooh. Rodgers over the middle of the Mike Williams picks up a solid game, but it's not going to be enough to get the yard gain, the line of gain. Fourth and three coming up. On the opponent's 33, he will go for it. Rodgers from shotgun. Shotgun, it's primed, it's cocked, it's primed and ready. He's going to shoot that thing like a cannonball. No, he's not. He's going to get tackled. <laughs> huge play. Huge play there from its Rondo. Sends the blitz like I said he should be doing a little more. He seems like he's listening because he's making it work right now. Blitz comes through, gets Aaron Rodgers for the sack. And now this game looks completely different as if the script's been flipped. Fields rolling left, has his man over the middle. It's going to be Van Jefferson. But no, he just couldn't hold on. Hit jars the ball loose. And now it's Rondo going to have to settle for second and ten. Going to have to settle for it. Still on a very good play so far. He's in control of the game, has points on the board now. Just keeping up the pressure now on Caster Kirsten, who's setting him up here. Here are the pigs starting to wake up. He was just looking at that crosser route that was, or I believe it was, uh, it was whoever Y was. He was on the right side. He was looking to the right side, but he would have had to throw cross body. It wasn't looking good. Dumps it off this time to Najee Harris. A huge lane spin. Can't quite get past the corner. Great defensively on the open field tackle. Fourth and one, but a great play there from its Rondo. Let's see if we can cook up fourth and one. Fields from shotgun. Rolling right. Has a man, but he's going to elect to maybe try to get it to him. Just out of the pocket. Throw on the run accuracy. Not very good from Justin Fields. Had the man wide open. Just couldn't find him. Was getting pressured. Didn't know if exactly if he wanted to make the play on the feet or make the throw through the air. Late decision from Mitz Rondo. And Justin Fields just sadly not putting enough accuracy on the ball. It's not enough accuracy. What else can you expect from Aaron Rodgers? I mean, I'm not kidding. But nonetheless, all going to break it, try and break through that line. Just barely gets some distance there. Now, that's a line up here once again. Fear the pig coming back with a vengeance, trying to live up to his name, trying to drill the fear into Rondo's heart. But Rondo standing stalwart on the defense, not going to let that happen. Simplifying Garrett Wilson on an in route, and that is a great job there from Aaron Rodgers. Uh, being able to pick up the first and ten. Fear the pig, you know, not the greatest start uh, so far this game. Rondo being the main guy so far. However, you're going to get your confidence back with quick plays like that just to get your offense started on the opponent's 39 now. Close to field goal range. Rodgers under shotgun, dropping back. Has a diving man in Mike Williams. What a catch, what a play, and it sets up a first down. But hey, first quarter is going to go over the way of the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be Rondo stirring things off 7-0. Much better start to this game. Right. I mean, second quarter now, we'll see if Fear the Pig has been able to mentally reset. He should be feeling good right now. He's on the opposition's 20-yard line in the red zone. I don't think he's worried. He has the first game. If this game doesn't go his way, he'll have that third game to make up for it. But still, you got to be questioning yourself. Can you make that game be such a big difference as you did last time? You might with such a beautiful pass as that was. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is just able to put such great touch on the ball. He's able to find the gaps that not many quarterbacks can in Madden right now so again we've seen him last week a lot of people love to use him this time not opting to throw choose the smart play able to get it to Brees Hall huge hole through the middle and Hall just shoots through like a cannon like a cannon now this one's going to be like a catapult launching a rate and getting another point on the board it's a tie game 7-7 seven seven. and Fear the Pig tying things right back up. So going to be quite an entertaining game. We'll see if Rondo can keep up the heroics on the offensive side. 
as he takes his kickoff. Going to elect to let this one roll just right back into the end zone. So it will be a touchback, and that will automatically set him down at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Let's see what he cooks up. Under center is Justin Fields. Single back formation. Back formation, but I feel like this might not be the first or the last we'll see here today. Fields going for a big pass. Jefferson just not going to catch it, unfortunately. That is a disastrous play right there. So close it so far. You wonder if maybe Fields was just able to be a little more accurate. You wonder if Van Jefferson was just able to have the better hands. I mean, there are just a couple of things there that didn't go quite his way. Fryermuth over the middle, not able to hold on. Hit jars the ball loose. Great job by that Jets stout defense, that stout secondary. Looking so strong so far. Justin Fields from shotgun. Not dropping back. Alexis sick in the pocket. Passes to Fryermuth. Has his man. Dips inside. And he's going to have him a fresh set of downs on his own 33. 33, that's the magic number right now, but he's looking to increase that by a whole heck of a lot right here. I'm trying to get some distance here. It's going to be Fields pass, not going to be passing. Every time I say he's going to pass, he gets sacked. I should stop. <laughs> I should stop doing that. I am sorry, Rondo. I am just calling out the tackles at this point. But now Fields going for a run, going for an interception. It's going to be fear of the pig. It's going to be Eccles taking it down the field, running up the right side of the field there. Beautiful play. Will he get a touchdown here? Let's Who's going to stop him? No. Oh, it's going to be Rondo with a big tackle. Saves him from six for now, but it's going to have to be one heck of a stop on the defensive side if you want to prevent Fear the Pig from going up. And again, I don't know what it is, Matthias, but right now you are just the caster curse coming into life. <laughs> Whenever you talk for some reason, it's Rondo. It's almost like he feels more pressure. He feels it. He's he, not he even knows, in the room with us. He's such a good caster. You know, he wants to impress <laughs> you, and he's forcing these throws. He's you know, making a couple mistakes, and... Right now, not a good sign from its Rondo. We'll see how he fares in the defensive stop. Has to stop the first play. But now, Rogers shotgun. Probably going to be a run, but you never know. Could go play action. Calls audible instead. It's the audible. That's not our sponsor here. And it's going to be another call out here. I'm going to go for time a replay. Timeout. I mean, why not? You need as much time as you can take here. Rogers from shotgun. Wonder if he's going to run, maybe try to set up that little screen play to Garrett Wilson as we saw last time with Lazard. No, this time Wilson on his own, left side. He's going to be throwing it to Hall instead on the flat route, and he's going to have him for another six. Another six on the board, and I mean, why not make it seven with a kick? That's how we always do things around here. So if you're the pig getting another good field goal 7 to 14 yeah you're back on the back foot again but hey you are still in this rondo you just needs one more play to I'm, i mean i'll be so honest you'd rather be down by seven than down by 50 some odds yeah so, that was you know I, I believe 55 i'm getting specific but you know right now it's rondo let's see what he can cook up just a one possession game we'll see what he can do here Cordell patterson on the return able to muster his way up to the 25-yard line. And he's going to be stopped right there. Where the play, where the drive starts, where the play ends. And now let's see if you're at Rondo, how you're going to do to get back into this game. What is the play indeed? Like you said, you wanted to see for Fields to go for some more runs. Right now, he's just kind of getting chased around the field, but this might be his up. opening here. He's going to blitz it down. He gets some progress there, but hey, he can get tackled. And again, like, listen, Fields can play that backyard football style, almost running like a headless chicken, but <laughs> it's what he needs to do. Look, he can make plays happen. He's a playmaking quarterback. He can open up spots on the field, and he can really just turn a play into his own if he really needs to on his feet. So, again, I'm surprised that I haven't seen even more of this from its Rondo, but so far that just hasn't been the case. He's been looking for the passes. Has Harris this time. Spin move to the inside, maybe a tad early, and it costs him the first down marker or potentially breaking the tackle. It will be third and six, but we will see how it's Rondo manages right now. Let's see how he manages indeed. It's like he's going for another pass play, not going to keep going through. I mean, could he even make up a better defense there? Because he keeps getting tackled there. 
Right, I mean, he's not even available to drop back. It's simply just a line diff. That defensive line of the New York Jets, especially with those linebackers that they have, C.J. Mosley in particular, they're able to just free up so much space. Deep throw Ooh. down to the receiver, Austin. But play being broken up by, I believe, that was... Yes, Reed Jr. So, again, a great job there from the New York Jets secondary, able to break up the long play, allowing nothing over the top as they have so far this entire game, it's felt like. So here we go. Now, fear the pig, back on offense, short field, Rogers, shotgun, is able to have his man, Brees Hall, over to the right side. He's gonna be down at the 34 opposition, second and two to come. And right now, fear the pig, looking like he's gonna start picking up right where he left off. Yeah, pig is just absolutely locking down in the second quarter. It's just so hard to break through this line. Now it's off to Rondo to stay stalwart in his defense here. But I don't fear the big. He always goes for those crazy plays. Always wants to get the deep throw all the way across the field. Just get it all done in one play. But didn't quite work out there. It seems like Rondo's starting to wake up to those these plays. Yeah, and I mean, again there, Rodgers just didn't have a short option to kind of back up to, and that's usually been the play. But now, Rodgers, shotgun, has trips left. We'll see what he can make with it. Able to free up the field for Brees Hall. That wow. should have been six. Bit of a, a bit of a misplay there. Yeah, I was going to say, Aaron Rodgers not usually one to miss that throw. But whether it was a little bit of just an off put of accuracy there from Fear the Pig, we'll never know. Sack comes through as well. Matters just keep getting worse for Fear the Pig on this drive. He's outside of field goal range now, and it won't even matter because that was fourth down, so it is going to be right back to its Rondo's possession. However, the tackle comes in. That's, I believe, I mean, how many times have we seen that, right? Where Fields is about to uncork a throw, and he just gets tackled before the ball can come out of his hands. I mean, it forces, at least he's getting the ball out of his hands moving forward, because if not, it'd be a fumble. But right now, Fields cutting upfield. He's going to slide, Ooh. just narrowly avoids a huge hit, which almost certainly would have jarred the ball loose and caused a fumble, especially when you're taking that hit as a quarterback. So again, in Madden, fumble chances for quarterbacks a lot higher than any other position on the field. Fields moving to his left, cuts back to the right, has Ooh. a throw to the middle but the receiver, Austin, just can't quite come back enough. Fields having to make an extremely hard throw, and he's not able to have the accuracy required to get it to the man. Fields, empty, ba empty backfield. It's gonna be shotgun, dropping back. Trying to roll, but it's not going to happen, and yet again, he just gets hit again as he throws. So lucky that his arm is always moving forward as he gets hit. If it was, if the ball wasn't moving forwards as he's getting hit, it counts as a fumble. And how they judge that is that that arm needs to be moving forward at the time of the ball coming out to be an incomplete pass. Fields able to get this there one away is. though, and there it is. Wow. Play from Austin, cutting through to the right side. It's going to be a touchdown. Rondo, back in the mix of things, put him up on six, and he's going to have a chance to tie this one back up. Yeah, it's a chance to out of all it is, is this one kick. You don't want to miss this one. If there's one, you can't miss. You curse this. This is the kick you don't want to miss. And there it is. <laughs> it's good. There it is, 14 to 14. I'm not going to cast a curse that one. I haven't seen anybody miss a kick yet. Um, I mean, no shit on Zach. I mean, Zach missed a 50-yard <laughs> kick last time. Now, uh, it was a field goal. It was for 50. And it was also while he was iced, so he couldn't even select his accuracy. However, as people famously know. Oh, what a run! Wow! What a run! I was gonna say coming on the last play, but wow, Fear the Pig cutting it up the right side. Davis all the way down to the 16 yard line. That's the best way you can possibly open up a drive. Honestly, the only reason I didn't wow. get loud there is because I thought <laughs> they were gonna play contain there on him, but he makes one move to the outside, burns his man, and I almost couldn't believe what I was seeing. Jeez. A great job there from Fear the Pig. And now running to Brees Hall, has the gap, hesitation. He's gonna be able to cut it up field. No it's way. Be another touchdown. Such a quick turn of events. And the state champ shows what it means to be him. He's just always in the pole position here. He's maintaining his lead every single time. 21 to 14. I mean, it was just 14 to 14 seconds ago. It was all solved in that one play. That was absolutely beautiful.
beautiful Madden from, from Fear the Pig here. He's really making sure that we know the name, fear the name that is Pig. And now, Cordell Patterson being tackled at the 28-yard line. I can't even remember what I was about to say. I don't like know either. Our I brain just got lost, wiped. Like, I just lost all track of memory there. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to finish my point as I just simply don't remember it. Fields from shotgun. Trips left. Let's see who he decides to go to. B, wide open. He better throw to it. It's Van Jefferson. But no! Didn't lead the receiver enough. The throw just behind the receiver. Fields got to be looking more accurate on that one. A missed chance. And we'll have to settle for second and ten. That's a tough throw to clear right there. Fields making another play there. We get a little bit of progression. Timeout is called. Ooh, this is looking to be a much better game than last time. Let's be completely honest. But you can definitely tell that Pig is in the leading position. He is in control of the game. Right, but I think Rondo's played, like, honestly, 10 times a better game than he has last time. Already has 14 up. He's been looking good, as I say that, yet again, for, like, the, umpteenth, the umpteenth time <laughs> so far today. We see Fields getting hit as he throws with the ball moving forward as it goes for an incomplete pass. Fourth and eight. And you got to think right now, even if there's only 38 seconds left, you got to punt this one away. No point in risking not getting the first down yard to gain and maybe by slight chance going down. 28 to 14 by halftime. So we don't want that on the kickoff this time. No heroics coming in as Rondo gets downfield very quickly, breaks that one up. And it's actually going to be a uh, drive starting on the 19 yard line. So even sweeter for its Rondo as a long field now to work with if you're Aaron Rodgers. 30 second drill in Madden, very doable, especially if you make the right throws. And here we go, Ooh, here's the first it. of many. It's going to be Tyler Conklin, but the hit jars the ball loose. A great play from the safety coming over the middle. And it was a great job there from its Rondo breaking up the play. Aaron Rodgers, second and 10 with 23 left. Beautiful play from Rondo. Keep playing these defensive plays as you know. He's just gonna kind of get desperate here. He wants to get these beautiful, crazy plays. It's worked out for him before, but it's not working out for him right now. Rondo just maintaining this defensive position. Right, and he's gotta be careful. I mean, if I believe I'm right, I mean, that's Joey Porter coming over to the right side. And I mean, he almost had a pick there. So good job on the wideout to jar it loose or whether it was just the hands of the DB and that's why they're not wideouts. Regardless, it is going to be Fear the Pig who gets away with that one. 14 seconds left, Rogers from shotgun. 14 seconds left, time is ticking. It's all or nothing right here. He tries to make something happen. Wow, this gets tackled down. We have one more before this is over. Or maybe not. Timeout gets called there from Fear the Pig as he just wants to stop that clock as the sack does still result in a running clock. So he will have nine seconds. Probably just going to try to see if he can cook up a Hail Mary here, fourth and 19. Might as well just go for the Hail Mary, see if you can. Uh, no, okay, he's not going to wow. actually risk the pick six or the pick in good field position, maybe opting out for a field goal. So honestly, a more respectable play actually to just punt the ball away, Austin, on the return. Can he cut up field? Yes, he can, but not enough. It's going to be zeros on the board, and that will bring us to the third quarter. Third quarter halftime has been called 14 to 21. Not looking too bad. Right, I mean, if you're Rondo, you have to be feeling a whole lot better than you were the first game, right? Seems like Fear the Pig, well, I can't say he's definitely slowed down. I mean, he definitely has slowed down since the first game, but he's been still looking pretty okay on the offensive side. It is going to be Rondo, though, to see what he can cook up on defense yet again. I feel like we're always getting Rondo on the defense, but I think that's just because of the fact that Rondo is kind of prone right now to getting three and outed a little bit. Um, again, we've just seen so many times where Field gets tackled as he throws, and it just results in the loss of a down, right? Obviously, the loss of play with no guard gain. Oh, my gosh. My words. Yards <laughs> gained. I almost said guards gained. <laughs> These yards and now, gains right now. I was going to say, Brees Hall being able to find a very big chunk of yardage gained right there. Aaron Rodgers doing a good job of finding the open man. As Fear the Pig's been able to do pretty much the entire series so far, barring that Minka Fitzpatrick interception. Rondo going to hope for more magic like that if he can try to get back into this one. The man over the middle is going to be Garrett Wilson on the post. And you can't make a better play than that one right there. A tight pocket fits it in. 
and Rogers working with Wilson. If there was someone to make a better play, it would be Fear the Pig. That was just a textbook play out of his playbook. And now things are looking really dicey for Rondo. He has so many options here he has to cover. It's going to be a very, very tough job on defense. Rogers from Shotgun. Looking at Brees Hall over the right side, but it's going to be the hit that jars the ball loose. Great job on coverage there. And a good play from Miss Rondo from the 24 now. Rogers has two receivers to his right, one to his left. Hall in the backfield from Shotgun. He is ready for it. He's prompt. He's ready. If I know Aaron Rodgers, he's ready to run this one down himself, down the field. He's going to get prepped, going to get that cannon ready. He oh my God, out. I called it out. I called it out. The one you know what? I'm done. That's the greatest call I've ever heard. The fact that you predicted the one time he's ever done that. Hey, you know what? I don't care. No, Matthias, I don't, if you made any bad calls tonight, which, I mean, I don't even know what I'd say, they're all forgiven if you did, if I go back in the I box. think it was the first that's call a, I that's made. That's amazing. Oh, that was beautiful incredible pass. from you. I still can't get over that. Mike Williams over the middle for the game now on the seven yard line how did you know that was going to happen you just had that look eyes. in his eye i know the i know the roger signals yeah when i was a jets fan back in the day before they picked him up but uh wait then what how did <laughs> <laughs> you know uh now they're making really good plays here pig is ready to walk this one just right up the field he has a lot of options here rondo I don't know what he can do here, but he's got to do something pretty crazy. And now it's going to be Conklin, the man on the right side. Conklin has just been abusing the right side that first game. Finally find him in the second one. And now on the one yard line, it's Aaron Rodgers. Loads of blockers in that O-line, probably getting a tight end on the side. I believe it's Conklin to help block as well. We'll see though. Aaron Rodgers going to opt for pass, pressure in his face, but the throw is not going to get quite out. Thought he was gonna go for a run, maybe a pitch to the outside would have been a great job there, uh, or a great call from Fear the Pig. But he'll have to settle for fourth and goal. And whether he chooses to go for a field goal or to go for it on fourth and goal on the one yard line, this might potentially be the call of the game. So again, Probably the most important play of the game so far for it's Rondo showing blitz. Has it in the outside and it's going to wow. be stopped. A huge play on the defensive side for it's Rondo. Yes, he gets the ball back on his own two-yard line, but not giving up seven there changes the game completely. Completely, and that's what you love to see from Rondo. Such, such growth from the last game, and now he has a run on his hands. Warren going to be the one taking it down the field, weaving between the enemy lines here. Can he get it a little bit further? His own player. Wow. What a play. Push. If it wasn't for Sauce Gardner there, <laughs> we would have had seven in a tie game. That would have been an absolutely amazing play. His Still own is teammate. <laughs> on his own 45, stumbling over his own teammate. Hold on, I mean, you got to get out of the way there. You have a guy running down the sideline. He's got nothing but clear daylight ahead of him. But now it's going to have to be Fields rolling to his left, pressure on him, cutting back to his right, getting hit as he throws, and a good decision there to throw it away because, I mean, honestly, it was not looking good there. No. Not a lot of reads you can make. He'd have to throw cross body, almost have to like spin around. And knowing Justin Fields' arm talent, that wouldn't have gone too well. Would not have gone well at all. Fields now setting something up here. In a really good position here to get himself back oh into God. a tie game. Gets the catch. And a beautiful place for Rondo so far. Sauce Gardner just not able to track the comeback from George Pickens, able to find the chunk play. We haven't seen Pickens a lot this series, didn't expect to either with a guy like Sauce Gardner guarding him. So we take them as they come. It is going to be Gardner who's able to get pulled off by Pickens and it frees up the crosser out to Fryermuth. It's a great play there from Rondo and oh, it's going to be able to tie the game up potentially. I hope I don't curse it. And oh no, is this a fake kick? I see the two <laughs> lines. If this if this is a fake kick and it works out, no, okay, he actually has yes. gone through with it. I did see the little like helmet sound on on the bottom, so I'm assuming he audible back to just a normal PAT. He was thinking about He's it. He's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Consider but again, it. there's probably going to be another chance to score for both of these guys. So not that I think the one point difference could have honestly done too too much. Uh, 
but we'll see. In the grand scheme of things, you never know. That's with football. Another, I wanted to say, almost looking like a really yeah. good potential return it's decent. from the Jets, but they'll have to settle for the 28. Thought he could yeah. get a lot more out of that, but the defense does a good job of playing contain. And now Rondo and Rodgers going to be able to duel it off on the 28-yard line. Rodgers from shotgun, dropping back, has his man over the middle. It's Brees Hall with the catch, gliding in between defenders. He's going to take a hit stick, holds on, though. However, won't meet the, yard, the line to gain. Second and inches to come. Yeah, you got to be comfortable. Rondo went with a safe play there because he's very comfortable on this defense. I think he's got it figured out. Don't mean to cast or curse this, but he's been doing a very good job, especially when it gets close. But now, can he get the tackle? No, he gets leave that Kastner cursed it into a touchdown for Fear the Big. <laughs> it's not going to be tie game anymore. It seems like it just slips through the fingers every single time. I think going to have, like, instant – down spiral in relationship points. <laughs> yeah, it's like he, he is yours number one off right now as Fear the Pig goes up 28 to 21. A chunk play there from Garrett Wilson, just making a play, doing what he does best. I wish, honestly, because I have him on my fantasy team, he'd be able to do that in real life, but Rodgers just hasn't been able to link up with him just yet. Not quite like he has been able to in this Madden series. Austin with the return, trying to bounce it out to the outside, but he's going to get contained, and he's going to be downed on the 20. Sometimes showing that bouncing it out to the outside isn't necessarily the best play, as if he's stuck to the middle, he can probably take his 24 yards. Maybe he gets another four or five yards on that. Bouncing it to the outside there, you're just losing yardage if you're getting contained and a good job. Fields bouncing out to the left, trying to roll out, has a, has a run, and he's going to have a nine-yard gain, second and one to come. Great job running the ball with Fields so far. When he does take off, he usually results in a first down or just short of one. So great yards right now that I'm seeing from the Fields one. And I wonder how this is going to go. A run to Najee Harris, something that we haven't seen too often. It's going to be able to get the first down, which is just enough. That's all he needs. And we will have a fresh set of downs in the 31. That's all he needs, but I think he's going to need a little bit more if he wants to try and take this game back here. Things are looking to get spicy right here. Fields going to be in control of the ball. Does not get the complete pass. Ready, man, I don't even feel like I need to comment on it anymore. It, it just yep. it happens, it happens. Every, once every three plays where Fields gets hit as he throws. Let's see what Fields can do here out of shotgun, crossing routes, not really getting open, and it's going to be an errant throw there by its Rondo. Williams with the pick, fear the pick. Oh, he should be no. able to house call it with this cut wow. inside as well. Only had one man to beat, celebrating into the end zone. Give him six. And all of a sudden, this one is starting to get away from its Rondo. Yeah, it's starting to all turn up. Fear the pig is away with 35 now on the board. Things are starting to look very, very good for him. But we got to say, it's not unwinnable for Rondo. It is a closable no, gap. No, absolutely not. But it's going to be a tough one. There's still a whole quarter to play left. I mean, down by 14. Obviously, judging by the caliber of play that Fear the pig is, it will be a hard ask. But we've seen crazier things before. I can always say that now because last week we did see something crazier than what <laughs> exactly. would be this. So, again, it'd be one heck of a comeback, but we'll just have to let Rondo cook and see what he cooks up. Going to be Austin going to the 25-yard line. That's where the drive will start off the kickoff. And let's see what Rondo has right now. Trips left as Fields is in shock. Shotgun and it's Brown and Reddy Fields. Going for a big pass up the field, but not able to secure the pass. Has no one open deep, so he's going to opt to try to go for the crossing route, but Fryermuth not able to get a hand on it, and also the fact that it was double covered as well. Not the greatest job there from Justin Fields, but again, everything was just kind of locked up. You maybe wonder if he could have bounced it outside, maybe taken it himself, but again, the pocket was closing up. Can't really blame it's Rondo on that one, just a play that didn't end up going his way. Now in shotgun fields, empty backfield, has a screen pass down to Fryermuth. Blocks won't be able to get picked up though as he tries to bounce it out to the outside. Third and 11 is going to be where he sets up. The setup, will it have payoff is the question on everybody's mind. Fields needs to go for something, maybe go for a Hail Mary run. Never mind, we're gonna go for a timeout instead. 
Right, I mean, he does keep possession at the end of the quarter, so again, Hail Mary would have been a little bit crazy, but if it, I mean, if it did work, I wouldn't be saying anything <laughs> against him, because he may have just been able to read the defense that well. Who knows, right? Right now, it seems like Fields trying to maybe try to put one out into, I thought was honestly going to be George Pickens. Maybe I thought he had a foot on Sauce Gardner, but who knows? That overall is so high on Sauce Gardner, maybe he catches up. Instead, Fields chooses the safe route, takes it himself. It's going to be fourth and two, but right now, down by 14, you have to keep going for it if you're, uh, it's Rondo. It's going to be what tries right now. Has the man. It's going to be the catch by Van Jefferson under coverage. And it's going to be a clutch one as gives him a fresh set of downs. He's going to get as much coverage down this field as he possibly can at this point. Fields going for something. Another tackle every single time. Fields got absolutely bullied on that play. I mean, he yeah. genuinely got sandwiched there. Yep. You can use the sandwich terminology. <laughs> that is genuinely what happened there. Not a great feeling for Justin Fields and the Steelers, and it's Rondo. But now, new play, new Fields. Ooh. Bouncing it down to the left. Throws a very, very, oh, an interception. very risky pass. Wow. Sauce Gardner able to be the man who comes out on top of the 50-50 ball, as he should. I mean, just wow. one of the best DBs in the game right now. And fear the pig, setting up possession on a heartbreak of a play. Yeah, that is a heartbreaker indeed for Toronto now. Fear the pig, so consistent on the offense. Now he's going to have free reign to go for something crazy once again. I mean, look at this. Look at how much he can just gain off a simple play. Right, I mean, Brees Hall, he's going to be able to bounce it to the outside, has a big gap through the line near the right. He's just so elusive. I mean, he can just, with one step, change course of direction, and it completely, as a person who's usering to try to tackle, fools the defense. Now, Hall able to cut it up the middle as well. Got kind of hit behind his own lineman, but he's able to bounce it outside. So, again, a great job of running the ball so far from Fear the Pig. And right now, when he's up 14, I would expect him to run the ball more because he's just trying to drain the clock. It's going to be exactly what happens. Hall cutting it outside, tries to juke to the inside, able to stay on his feet, gets downed at the 37, but that clock keeps on running, and i got to imagine that he's just going to keep running this ball to Brees Hall until he hits the two-minute mark. Most likely he's in the lead right now. He's going to keep on going for these crazy plays for as long as he wants to. Right now, Rondo, we're going to have a very tough time evening up this scoreline. Right, and with two minutes left, I mean, uh, again, I could curse Fear the Pig right now. Uh, I could say it's almost over. Braylon Allen, the rookie, I believe, uh, who is new in this Jets lineup, such a great power back, and he's able to cut up field. And for some reason, Brees Hall, not in the backfield, it is going to be Braylon Allen. And he's just going to keep running the ball with him. Maybe because Braylon Allen has less of a chance to fumble as a power back, he's just going to try to play chew clock on him right now and just try to keep that clock going down more and more and more. Yep, accelerated clock, and all of a sudden, we're at 45 seconds left in the game. This one is going to be all she wrote, and it's going to be Fear the Pig coming out on top. Yeah, this is looking uh, like this is a Fear the Pig game once again, but you have to give some props to Rondo. He really played very cleanly in the second game. Right, I mean, definitely better than the first. It's just Fear the Pig is just so clinical in his reads, and he plays a smart game of football. you got to give it to him. Pass now with Rodgers. It is going to be hit as he throws. Going to fall for an incomplete pass. Fourth and nine. I'd expect maybe Fear the Pig here just to either go for a field goal or just try to chuck one up and see if he can get another touchdown on the board. But Either way, that's probably going to be all she wrote as we see Fear the Pig coming out on offense for potentially the last time this game. Fourth and nine. Motions Brees Hall to his left side. Rodgers, shotgun. And let's see what he has for potentially his final play. I believe calling a little bit of an audible right now. Defense setting up. Rodgers now dropping back. Not under pressure just yet. Under pressure now. Gets the throw away, but it's going to be just short. However, with 33 seconds left to play, it is going to be all but over as it's Rondo is going to see if he can just try to find maybe a chunk play. Going to go with the verticals, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not looking good for Rondo, even if everything goes perfect, perfectly. If you think puts down all his players, have, has them sit down, it's still going to be a nigh impossible task to close this gap. 
Fields, empty, forma empty back formation, under shotgun, has trips to his right. Another two receivers out to his left. Gonna motion a man to set up trips left on the two running verticals on the left side. We'll see if he can find one of them. It is going to be a crossover over the middle that he tries to go for. But who guessed it? It's been the number one play we've seen all game. It's going to be Justin Fields getting hit as he throws for yet another incompletion. Third and 10 on the way, 27 seconds left. 27 is the number to be eyeing right now. Fields going to go for a big throw here if I was going to guess, but no. I should have guessed that he's going to get tackled <laughs> once again. As every time I say it, he's going to go for it. Someone's right there to knock him down over. Yeah, I mean, again, this is just the problem with the Pittsburgh Steelers right now is they don't have uh, necessarily the most electrifying people at quarterback as this ball is going to be I ball, I, oh! slightly overthrown. Wow! But Fields, with the deep ball accuracy, actually finds Austin for a touchdown. <laughs> How many more of those do we I mean, to well, tie look, you know what? Just make me eat my own words. I thought Justin Fields was going to completely overthrow that ball there. And in fact, I thought Austin almost didn't even have a step on his man. He had a beat. Going for two. Fields rolling out. Has the completion for the two point convert. Hey, and you know what? Listen, he's going to go for the onside kick. This one ain't over just yet. It's not? Let's see it. Because of what happened right there, <laughs> this one isn't over just yet. We got. I would love to see it. You know what? I would love to see something I crazy. I swear, if he gets to do a game three, we'll see. It's going to be on the hands team. I believe it will end up being the Jets ball because yep. a player from the opposing team needs to touch the ball first before the Steelers could hop back on it. So that will indeed be the game. But hey, you know what? It's Rondo. Respect, man, because you made this one a fun one to watch down to the very last second. Definitely. It's going to be a tackle on Brees Hall. Timeouts will get called, but honestly, uh, again, we'll see. Barring a kick return touchdown, if he can force a fourth and out, or sorry, a third, a third and out. Uh, you know, who knows? We'll who see. Knows? If, you're, if you're Aaron Rogers, if you're Aaron Rodgers, if you're Aaron Rodgers, you're just gonna like to run this ball and barring a fumble, it's gonna be all you're hoping for on the side of its Rondo. So again, gonna be sending the whole house here on the mid blitz, and it's going to be Rodgers single back formation. We already know where this is going. Probably going to be Brees Hall down the left side. He has daylight. Gonna be able to maybe get the first down. No, not quite but with three seconds left and one more play on fourth and two. If I was the New York Jets, this one is done. You take a knee, you end the game, and that's gonna be all she wrote. Or you can go for a run play, and if you fumble the ball right now and give up six points on a touchdown, it will be the <laughs> stupidest thing I think I've ever seen. So hey, let's, let's see what happens. He's gonna give the ball up to Brees Hall, but the fumble will not come through. Yep. That will be the ball game. It's Fear the Pig, 2-0 in the series, 35-29 on the first game, and 69-14 sorry, 69-14 on the first game, 35-29 is your score for the second one. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed there by Fear the Pig. But you gotta give it to It's Rondo. Way better QB stats in that second game. I mean, 265 sure. through the air, three touchdowns, beating Aaron Rodgers' 240 through the air, and two touchdowns. But again, that is not the whole story of the game. Defense showed it stronger for Fear the Pig. And I gotta say, it was quite the series from, it was. from him. Yeah. From start to finish, that was just an amazing series to watch. I mean, the beginning, it didn't look so great for its run. It looked like a complete blowout, and it honestly was. But in that second game, you could definitely tell he learned from his mistakes, learned what made Fear the Pig tick, and he gave the state champion a run for his money. I mean, I can't necessarily say that he did in the first game, but in the second no, game, the yeah, second absolutely, game yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah. But when we're talking about a whole series that would have had to then go to game three, oh, and yeah. who knows what would have happened there. So anyway, regardless, I want to say thank you to the players for coming out and putting on a show for us tonight. Thank you, Matthias, for joining me on the desk on a little bit of short notice. So great job from you there. No thank problem. you to everybody in the back. I believe it's Daniil and Adrian right now who's just in the back room yep. for right now. So a little bit. A little bit of a skeleton crew. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Hey, yeah, hey, we're we made it work. It work. We made it work. And that's all that matters. Uh, shout out to all the fans watching 